Thank you very much. Thank you. We are Firelight Trio. Uh, it's great to be here. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Lovely for us to be playing for you. Uh, we're going to keep the chat fairly short because we've got a lot of music to get through, which is the point of being here. But we'll just tell you a little bit about the tunes that we're playing. The first piece was called Hassan Senem, and it was written by a man named Joseph Moskowitz, uh, written in the early part of the 20th century. Moskowitz was from Romania, and he emigrated to the States in the 1920s, where he became a very successful Cymbalon player and also a very successful Second Avenue restaurateur. And then uh, after that, we carried on with two tunes from our fab fiddle player, Gav Marwick. Uh, the first one of them, the We Reel, uh, is called Filthy Wicker. It's a, a rare thing I've decided to bring into the folk music canon. Uh, it's a tune dedicated to the successes of capitalism. <laughs> Uh, and I'd like to dedicate it tonight, as I often do, to Michelle Moon. Thank you very much. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's hard work. We'll get you everywhere. Uh, the, the final tune um, is called The Latvians March, and it celebrates the, uh, the actual celebrations of the small Latvian community in Edinburgh in the early 90s, when Latvia declared its independence from the Soviet bloc. Um, which was a very small but exuberant party. Uh, and then we go on to do something else. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Normally I do a little chat about what my instrument is, but I think literally everybody in this room is going to have seen a nickel harper before, but just in case you haven't, it's called a nickel harper. It's the national instrument of Sweden, and it's a bit like a, a keyed viola. Um, and uh, I'm just going to tell you really quickly that... Um, I actually completely broke it last week, and the only person who could mend it is in France, and so I had to clear my diary last week, drive to France, and get the whole thing completely rebuilt. So it's, uh, you're all very lucky that I'm here at all. <laughs> anyway, fortunately, it's mended. <laughs> um, and because it's the national instrument of Sweden, um, we've been learning a few Swedish tunes, and we're going to play you one now. Um, I think Phil's going to tell you about it, because he found it. I'll tell you about this briefly. Um, it's a very beautiful tune that we like playing a lot. Uh, it was written by a fiddle player called Kasia Abramson, a Swedish musician, and apparently she wrote it for a man with whom she was very much in love, but she never told this man of her feelings, and in fact she never told anybody the identity of this man, so we don't know who he is, uh, we don't know where he is. I mean, it's possible that at this moment he's... Uh, enjoying a uh, music showcase in the Eastgate Theatre in, <laughs> in Peebles. You never know. Um, but wherever he is, uh, it's a very beautiful tune, and it's called Princeton's Polska. Hope you enjoy.
Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to uh, change the mood slightly. Um, I, some years ago now, I had the good fortune to be given the run of a friend's, a musician friend's flat in Berlin for a week or so while I was doing some gigs over there. And, uh, and it was a great flat, and it had a lovely big room, lots of instruments and things. And I spent most of the week in this one room with all these instruments, uh, drinking lots of wine and um, writing music. And uh, it was a great way to spend a week. And for some reason, this kind of cool musician's lair in East Berlin put me in mind not of some kind of industrial hardcore techno, but actually a kind of gentle English rumpty tumpty jig. <laughs> uh, and uh, so that's what we're going to play now. Um, it's a tune that makes the three of us very happy to play. Hopefully it will do the same for you. This is called the Berlin Jig.
Thank you. Thanks a lot. There are many things that um, I love about that tune, but my absolute favourite thing about it is that beautiful little tail that Gav puts on the end, and it's different every single time. We never know what's going to happen. So that was quite a good one. <laughs> Should have heard it in the rehearsal last week. <laughs> They're going to let us through the door. OK, we're going to finish off with a set of a couple of tunes. I um, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the bar afterwards. Uh, these are two more originals. They're two of mine. The first is called Shiki Mickey, which is a great German phrase. It doesn't really have an English translation. Um, my best guess is something like, all mouth, no trousers. <laughs> and then the second tune um, is a melody that came to me while I was walking across uh, a fantastic bridge in Krakow uh, called Acrobat's Bridge. And it has these amazing sculptures, bronze sculptures of acrobats and jugglers and unicyclists and things woven into the rigging of the bridge. It's a very dramatic bridge, so I tried to write a dramatic tune to, uh, to go with it. To, to be honest, I think he's done a, a very successful job. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries, man. Uh, musically, I mean, the, there is high wire action. There's <laughs> musical juggling, moments of fear and terror live, on stage, in front of you. <laughs> and every night we wonder if the fiddle player and the nickel harpist will get through the tune to the far side of the bridge without falling in the water. <laughs> See what happens. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. We have Firelight Trio, Ruth Morris on the Little Harper, Gab Marwick on the fiddle, and my name is Phil Alexander. Thank you very much indeed. We'll see you in the bar.